Uh, time now to travel back over to Tim as the 9 a.m. continues. What's up, Tim? Well, we've got some country music uh, legends running through the veins of our next guest. This is Ferlin Husky we're seeing right now. Grand Ole Opry. Got lots of stories he could share. And you know who else can share them? His nephew, Michael Husky, who's in the house right now. Michael, thank you so much for being here, man. Thanks for having me. All right, we see Ferlin there. Your uncle, uh, what are your, your fondest memories or be favorite stories about Ferlin? Well, he's an incredible entertainer. Everybody who ever knew him said that he was one of the best, if not the best they'd ever seen. And how he had such an amazing ability to make people laugh, touch their hearts, from everything from gospel all the way to, you know, a, a heartbroken song about being left behind by a woman, you know. <laughs> yep, yep. It, it, one of his uh, stand, standards was on the wings of a dove, yeah. and one that you perform on a regular basis, right? I do. I, I start every show with that one as an homage to him and change the lyrics at the end a little bit for him. And so it's one of my favorites, yeah. Yeah, and, and you said that was part of his mission as he was wanting to spread the gospel. Yeah, yeah, he was. Um, he and a lot of his friends back in those days. In fact, Americana music um, really has its roots in gospel, like blues. Sure. And, you know, some of the other offshoots. He's got a great voice, incredible voice. In fact, you said he had his this comedic alter ego character that he created that he even took a song to number two on the country charts? He did, Simon Crum. If you guys look him up on YouTube, you'll, you'll see country music is uh, here to stay is the name of the song. And it's, uh, it's, it's pretty campy, um, but it, it did go to number two and he impersonates several artists, including Kitty Wells at the time. Wow. Um, and that character, Simon Crum, eventually was what spawned uh, Gomer Pyle. Although he never got credit for that, he was flattered that, that uh, they did borrow that character from him How off the cool. stage. Yeah. How cool is that? Now he was also neighbors with Johnny Cash? Yeah, uh, Johnny and Farron Young and um, you know in Nashville they were all uh, good buddies and uh, you know the whole idea of the road show uh, they yeah. used to do that back in the day even when Ferlin spelled his name like our family does H-U-S-K-E-Y there's an old poster my cousin uh, Michael Georgie who's a, a, a St. Louis uh, uh, lifelong uh, resident as well uh, found and, and uh, it shows how Elvis was opening for him and uh, his love for mentoring some of these young artists as well. And people thought when they saw the poster, oh, they misspelled his name because he's famous for H U S K Y, like, yes. like the dog. Yes. And uh, yeah, so um, that's another thing about him that I always loved is that he was always there for the next guy, helping him get up on stage. And it's not a lot of people who can say Elvis opened for them. That's right. That's <laughs> right? right? But he can say that. And uh, you get, you're going to be doing several performances around town yeah. uh, uh, this, this coming week. Uh, and there's going to be an invitation as well, right? That's right. Tomorrow night at the Sky Music Lounge, uh, we're going to have uh, at 6 o'clock any stage-ready musicians or sit-in artists that want to come out and uh, get a shot to jump up on stage and play. Uh, we'll be doing a little jam from 6 until 6.45, 6.50 in there before I start up. And, also, um, a tryout for the road show that we're doing this year, a much bigger show that'll feature local acts that uh, we're pulling out of the woodwork uh, currently, and then uh, some other surprise guests that we'll get to announce later as well. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. Several locations you can catch him this week. We're going to be talking about those because you're, you're going to perform for us coming up? I'm going to. All Thank right. You. After, after the break, it's going to be Michael Husky live in the box right here on the 9 a.m. Stay with us. More coming your way.